Hey guys, this is Tim from Old Glory Guns and Ammo, and we're going to do a quick video today on a very frequently asked question about what's a good bowling pin shoot gun. So we have a couple of good examples. First one, first rule of thumb is get something that starts with a four. So we have a 1911, very basic gun, and it's in 45 ACP. Does have an extended uh, slide release. Other than that, it's a very basic model, no rail. A rail is preferred for the weight to keep the muzzle flip down. So we're going to shoot, shoot a few shots with this and see how it works out for us. Smith & Wesson 1911. And uh, which brings us to our next gun, which is the gun of the week. This is a Smith & Wesson model 625 Jerry Michelik model. Uh, it's an end frame, six shot, cut for moon clips. Has the fantastic JM wooden stocks on it. The brass bead on the front, which really helps your, well, my aging eyes. And it's fed with moon clips, which uh, moon clip holds six rounds. In most of your pin shoots you're allowed to load six rounds in your magazine or for us uh, revolver guys six shots on your moon clips. So let's give this one a go. Very fast to reload. Very fast. You just drop the moon clip right in Usually it goes right in, close the cylinder, and you're back shooting again. So my personal choice for uh, bowling pin shoots is a JM Model 625. I find the, uh, the ease of shooting and reloading to be a real advantage and uh, with the very few modifications you can add a, a wolf spring kit, an oversized firing pin and maybe a nice Hogue grip and a Hogue uh, cylinder release which really helps when you're trying to do those fast reloads. So guys that's my take on the gun of the week.